How are you going to get home? The car is outside. And um, you can't drive in this state. Can you drive me home? Well, yes, I can, but my car is at the mechanic. Oh, great. Can you drive me in my car? Well, you don't even care if I'm a serial killer or something. I don't think so. You seem like a good guy. You just rescued me from this guy's. Where's your car? Now that I've done all I've asked to do, um, I'll take my leave now. But the problem is, who's going to lock the doors now? You're not done yet. What? I'm done? No, you're not. Are you going to let me sleep on this? I smell of sweat and cigarettes. How's that my business? What am I supposed to do about that? I don't know. You take me to the bathroom. You undress me, you bathe me, and then you bring me back to the bed, you tuck me in, <laughs> sing me a lullaby if you must, please. Like, seriously? No, I'm not kidding. Oh, are you a virgin? I know you're not. Of course I'm not. Why would you look at me and think, think of such? Of course you're not. You look like someone who has had lots of women and you've made them mourn in ecstasy. It's not a big deal. You can make me mourn too. See me as one of your girls. Please, please, I can't want my girls. Please, help me. Oh, 
What are you doing? Where are you going? What do you mean by where am I going? I'm leaving. I can't stay here. Oh, please don't leave me by myself. Why? You stay alone? Yes, but I've never been this drunk. <sighs> Alright, fine. Are you hungry? Because I'm very hungry. Yeah, yeah, I'm hungry too. You have food at home? Yeah, but what I want is cornflakes. I have some soup and some stew in the fridge. You can make it something for yourself if you like. No, well, cornflakes is fine. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, thank you. Come and check on you. I uh, will be in the sitting room. Oh, why? You can sleep here with me on my bed. In your bed? Yes, that's fine. Please. now. I want to ask you for a favor. What? What is it again? Do you want me to cut off my neck and give to you? No. Please. Make love to me. Please. Look, I, you know I can't do that. Besides, you're not in the right frame of mind. I don't want you to wake up tomorrow morning and, and start accusing me of rape, please. I don't want I to. would not accuse you of anything. I'm fine. I, I want you. Please make love to me. You have a boyfriend now. Don't you have a boyfriend? I do not. I've, 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 I've not had sex in like four months. My, my boyfriend mm -hmm. cheated on me with my friend and I broke up with him. And... I stayed off men since then. Every time I, I get in the mood to have sex, I go to the club or to the bar. I take some drinks and I dance. And it just helps me with the urge. But to, today I, I drank too much. And then <laughs> you rescued me from those guys. So please. Make love to me. Eh, yeah, but I don't even have condom with me here. Yeah, I can't make love with you without condom. It's okay. I don't have any diseases. I, I ran a test about four months ago. I'm good. How about me? How are you sure I am? I'm, all, I'm free from anything. I'm sure you don't because if you do, you wouldn't be insistent on using condoms. What about pregnancy? I'm not ovulating. So the question is that I'm the man who saved you last night, you remember? What am I doing naked? Did you touch me? Did you make love? What did you do to me? What? We had sex. And you begged me to do it. He begged you? Yeah. Why would you say that? I couldn't have begged you. Did you did you at least use protection? No. How many rounds did, did you go? Four. Four? What are you, a machine? 
So you went four rounds without using protection? You said you were safe. And you begged me to sleep with you. Stop saying I begged you! You're in my bed. I don't know who you are. You raped me. You went far out and you're saying I begged you. What are you? What are you? You see, this is what my good nature lands me into. Because you're such an ingrate. You're an asshole. You are a crazy idiot. You are in a compo. Get out of my house. The feeling is mutual. I never want to set my hands on you again. I never want to see you again. I just want to get tested. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely you should. Yeah. You know, you can come to the hospital tomorrow and I'll get you tested. Hmm? Okay. Hmm. So tell me, what is his name? I don't know his name. Excuse you? You don't know what? I don't know. We didn't get to that part where we we're going to introduce each other or know each other's names or whatever. I woke up, I was so pissed off at him. I said a lot of terrible things to him. He said a lot of terrible things to me and I chased him out. Girl, so you had sex with someone four times. You spent the night with him and you don't even know his name. Girl, that means you don't even have his digits either. I don't know his name and then I'll have his digits. Girl, I said we didn't even get to that part to know names, not to talk of having his digits. Hmm. Don't be like, don't look at me like that. Don't judge did me. Did I say anything? Do not did I, did I judge say, me, Pat. Did my... Don't <laughs> judge me. Uh, oh. That girl is crazy. Huh? 
after begging me to bang her all night, I mean, she's now turning around to say that I, I, I took advantage of her. You know I'm not that kind of a guy. You know me. I won't even take advantage of a girl, not to talk of a, of a drunk girl. Miss you the good guy. <laughs> you know, I always tell you, this good guy stuff of yours will put you in trouble one day. I hope it doesn't, too. Because if I hadn't intervened, then those boys would have finished her. <laughs> and for sure you didn't get her digit or something? I didn't even get her name. What? Yes. You went home with a girl. Spent the night with her, uh -huh. banged her four times, four. and you didn't even bother to get her name. Mezie. I was going to ask for it the next morning. But when she put up that show, I was like, never in my life will I cross paths with this person again. <sighs> Mezie, my guy, you don't go bang spirit. <laughs> At this yeah. point in time, eh? You better start to look for one deliverance church where they go carry you go. She's you need deliverance, so she's not a spirit. How do you know? Because she's such a beautiful girl. <laughs> beautiful girl with a beautiful car. She has a very nice apartment. In fact, eh, I wouldn't mind being her boyfriend, but after that display, I will never, ever <laughs> cross paths with her again. And you know for sure that is not even going to happen. Yeah, most likely, it won't. Exactly, it's not gonna happen. What a messed up. Such a caring, sweet, patient man. But yet I chased him away with my scornful remarks. Am I ever going to see him again? Even if I run into him, would he still want to talk to me? With the way I spoke to him and with everything I said, oh, how he made love to me. <laughs> Where are you, stranger? You have aroused my deep, hidden feelings. What are you doing, stranger? Are you out there rescuing another girl like you rescued me? Or are you in bed with another woman? The thought of that alone just makes me so jealous. Vivian, come on, stop, you need. This is this is really weird. I don't even know his name. times and the sight of food just irritates me. I think I'm falling sick. Maybe okay. I have malaria or typhoid. I'll just buy some drugs and take. Oh, maybe mm -hmm. you have a malaria. What's that? Pregnancy. <laughs> malaria. But uh, surely I can't be pregnant. I've not been with a man since. Since some time ago, right? You met that mystery man. The mystery man that you Pat. beg it. Uh, Dr. Pat. Dr. Pat. Put the doctor before the Pat. Who's going it's to call important. you a doctor? I worked hard for it. Oh, please. <laughs> Who is going to call you a doctor? I beg. Doctor, my, my foot. Oh, wow. See finish. This is a product of see finish. But on a more serious note, girl, when was the last time you saw your period? Hmm. Um, I'm two days late. <laughs> uh, but surely I can't be pregnant. Oh, my darling. Oh, yeah, because when I met up with the guy, I wasn't ovulating. I, that I, was like three days before my ovulation. But love, so. you can still get pregnant. It's still very much possible for you to get pregnant, even if you weren't ovulating. Now, 
I think it's lecture time. Time to school my best girl. Now this is what happens. When a woman has sex, three days before ovulation or three days after ovulation, it's still very possible for her to get pregnant. You see, when sperm is released into the body, they all swim, millions of them, to swim with the sole aim of fertilizing an egg. Now, when one sperm successfully fertilizes the egg, the others will die, right? Now, the male sperm, which swims fast, they tend to stay alive for like um, two days at most. They are gone. But the female sperm, now that one is slow and patient. They can stay in the body and stay alive for up to three days, even four days at most. And that is enough time for you to get pregnant. Oh. I didn't know people get pregnant if they're not ovulating. Bingo. But I, but I couldn't possibly be pregnant. Well, I'll come in and I'll come and run a test. Oh, something. yes. You can come in and I'll get you tested for pregnancy. But my darling, please don't be too fast to scratch that off the list. <laughs> I really can't believe this is happening. Pat, I want an abortion. Can uh, we go to the hospital? No, 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 no. Please, no. Abortion for what? Girl, you cannot do that. You know I am pro life or it's against my conviction. I cannot let you do that. It is just a fetus. It, it is blood. Okay. And the fetus becomes what after nine months? So, what would you have me do? You know, no, I can keep this baby. Why not? Why not? You're seriously asking me that question? Because I don't even know his name. I don't have his contact. Where do I, what do I do? We will find him, okay? Where? Well, we can start at the bar where you guys met. And say what? Girl, I don't know, but right now, all I am saying right now is you cannot have an abortion. I beg you. Baby girl, I beg you in the name of everything that you hold there, in the name of God, please. Don't have an abortion. Don't do it. Please. Say no, no. Please. I can't do this anymore. I can keep going around town looking for this man. I can't do anything with my life during the day. I can't do anything with myself at night. I can't sleep. I'm worried. And the barman said the first time we met was the only time that he, had, he came there. I have gone there every day looking for him. And he has refused to show up. Look, I'm tired. I need to abort this child. Yeah, we've talked about this. You cannot have an abortion. It's murder. You cannot kill your It is my life, uh. Pat. And it is my decision to make. Vivian, I know it's your life. Right? And it's your choice. But murdering your unborn child, that is a wrong move. It is murder. Oh, so now you're trying to give trip me? Oh, yes. 
At this point, yes, I am trying to guilt trip you. Call it whatever you want to call it. Abortion, evacuation, D and C, it is still murder, simply murder. And it's not just murdering just anybody, you're murdering your own child, your own blood. Girl, and girl, let's say yes, you go ahead and you have the abortion, and something happens and you cannot conceive tomorrow, then, then what becomes of you? Really? Nothing is going to happen. Mm. It's not my portion. Yes, it's not your portion, it's not anybody's portion. But it doesn't change the fact that something can go wrong. Girl, you have no idea the number of women out there that are ready to do anything. They're ready to go through anything just to have this child you're about to flush down the toilet. It is my life, Bart. It is not your decision to make. I said I do not want this baby. What is the problem? Now, if you don't want to carry out this DNC for me, I'll go somewhere else. But I said I will go somewhere else! Vivian! Girl, I don't understand. What's going on? Eh? I called your number, you did not pick, you didn't call me back. I went to the shop to look for you. Titi told me you, you were in there. And I had to rush down here. Did you do it? Girl, oh, please tell me you didn't do it. Okay. You know what? We are best friends. And no matter what, we're going to stick together. So it's fine. Hmm? I couldn't. Oh. I couldn't go ahead with it. I was so furious with you for making me feel guilty about aborting my own child. I got to the hospital and I couldn't come down from my car. Your words just kept ringing in my, in my head. I couldn't go ahead with it, but... No, my love, it's okay. All right. I am here with you. What you need to know is that you made the right decision. We will find him. Together we will find out where he is. What if the child grows up and begins to ask after his or her father? What do I do? We will figure it out. Right? When sure? that time comes, we'll figure it out. I'm sure, I'm very sure. But you did well, thank you, okay? Thank you for doing the right thing. <laughs> Mommy. Yes, baby. Where's my daddy? <laughs> what? Where is my daddy? Um. All my friends have daddies. Their daddies bring them to school and pick them up too. Is he dead like Patricia's dad? Oh, no, no, no. He's not dead. Then where is he? Why is he not living with us? Um, don't worry. Um, you will get to see him soon. But, baby, you don't want to spend time with mommy again. Or am I, I treating you badly? I want to play with him like the girl on TV. I want to climb on his back. I want him to call me Angel, like Precious Daddy calls her. Um, he would do all of those. I want my daddy, I want my daddy, I want my daddy, I Jenny, want stop my it. daddy, I want I said my stop it. daddy, I want my daddy, I Jenny, want stop it. my Hi, Pat. Jenny is throwing a tantrum again about wanting to see her daddy. Well, you said whenever this happens, we should... Well, the time is now. I need you to come, please. 
Okay. What happened? Huh? What did she see? What did she hear? What happened to make her so, you know, tensed about wanting to see her father? We were just watching a movie and she saw this girl her age playing with her father and the next thing she's asking me, Mommy, where is my daddy? I, I don't know. Look, Thank you for telling her that her dad is abroad and he's gonna come back in some years time and all of that. But how long would the lie hold? She's growing rapidly. She's going to keep asking questions and throwing tantrums. I really need to find her father. I need to find her father. Calm down, okay? We will. At least for now, that lie has to hold, okay? And a little lie wouldn't hurt her. It's just, you know, to help us buy time, enough time to find her father. I wish I have his picture or I know his name or I, I would have just gone to the press. Baby girl, how about we take this to social media? How? I don't even know his name. But you know the story. You know and you remember everything that happened, right? Baby girl, yes, you post it on every social media platform. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Telegram, all of them. It's not possible that somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody would not see it and tell him. <coughs> what do we know? He might even see it himself and reach out. Why didn't we think of this all this time? Ah, my sister. The brain started working now, okay? This genius brain just activated now. I, I actually have... think it's a great idea. Oh, my darling, it is. We have to get on it, like, ASAP. Huh? Okay. How did you even think of this so quick? You're, you're really a rugged doctor. I am a rugged doctor, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am a gangster doctor, baby girl. <laughs> so let's get to work. Bring your phone. We need to compose this. Story and Babe, you won't yeah. believe this. What? This has been trending on the net since afternoon. Huh. There's this girl called Vivian. Uh -huh. She said she was drunk in a bar called Cuba eight years ago. She said um, she was mahandled and this guy came up, hit those guys and rescued her. She begged the guy to take her home and then when they got home, around, around Lakey Face 1. So she said when they got home, she begged the guy to sleep over. So they went down. And then when she woke up in the morning, she was very angry with herself and with the guy that she asked the guy to leave the house. But she said she regretted it though, you know, because the guy was a nice guy and the, girl took, the guy took care of her. And she said, um, you know, she didn't get to know the guy's name, they didn't exchange numbers, and now she has been looking for the guy for that long. Um, she's begging the guy to, you know, to get across to her um, that she has a very important message to give the guy. And um, she dropped her phone number, her office address, her home address, everything. She dropped everything. <sighs> what a story. Imagine the risks she took. Babe, are you okay? Babe. Um, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Send me that um, article. Send it to me on my WhatsApp. Let me read it myself. Send it to me. Okay. Send it to me now. Done. Babe, do you think the guy will, will say it? Huh? It's possible. It's possible. Oh. Um, I wonder what's so important that she has to, you know, go to this extent to find the guy. Um, babe, you know what? It's okay. Um, you will have to excuse me. I'll be back now. I want to quickly go and see Chuka. What? 
What? But you say you're not going out tonight since I'm here. I'll be back in a jiffy, okay? Just... Uh, me, I'm leaving too. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to threaten me or what? I said I'll be back now. What do you want me to buy for you? What do you want me to buy for you? I'm coming. All I'm saying is that when I shipped them in, they were in perfect condition. Oh no, don't get me wrong. That's that's not what Okay, fine. No problem. You can bring it to the store and then we can compare with others. No, seriously. Can can you can you give me a moment to call you back, please? I'll call you right back, I promise. Okay. Hello? Oh yeah, this is Vivian. Who am I speaking with? Really? Uh, look, this is a very serious matter. If, if, if you're not the one, please do not waste my time. I do not have time. Um, okay, if it is you, why didn't you reach out to me all this time? Absolutely, I, I, I remember every, everything and, and I'm so sorry for the way I spoke to you on that day. It's a number of things, but, but, but we cannot discuss it on the phone. Can we meet? Um, okay, how about we meet the same place that we met before? 2 p.m. tomorrow. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, thank you so much for reaching out, Missy. This is, this is, this is, okay, bye, good night. Seriously, I know, right? Well, we are great to meet tomorrow at the same bar by 2 p.m. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, no, I didn't tell him about her and I didn't tell her about him. Yeah, because I want to see their reaction when they meet. Well, I just hope it's not so weird. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't ask him. I don't know. Uh, well, if he's single, great. If he's married, great too, but I hope he's not married. <laughs> no, but seriously, I just want the two of them to meet and I want them to have a good and great relationship. Right. Yeah, exactly. Oh, thank you. Okay, sweet dreams. Okay, bye. I'll don't worry, I'll let you in on everything. Okay, bye. Well, I hope he's single and not married. Mm. Anyway, I can't wait to see him tomorrow. Would you like something to drink? No, I'm fine, thank you. You look beautiful. Thank you. Wow, well, unlike how you were looking like a monster the last time you sent me out. <laughs> look, I'm so sorry about that day. I I regret it till today. Eh, it's okay. 
we said a lot of harsh words and harmful words to each other, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, what was so important to you actually to see me? How about we order some drinks and we catch up, and then afterwards, I'll take you there. Take me there. <laughs> Don't worry, you will see. Mommy, who is this? She's actually yours. He's your daddy. So you're my daddy. Why have you not been living with us? I've missed you so much. Should um, we go home? Yes, I will tell you all about this when we okay. get home. Let's just, let's just go home. Good. Please come in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, please sit. All right. Make yourself comfortable. Would you like me to get you anything? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, um, you would have to excuse us for a few minutes. I need to give her a bath and change her from her school uniform. Okay. Okay, so we'll be right back. Come on, baby. I was going to take it out. Then my friend, who is also my doctor, Dr. Pat, advised me to keep it. It was a struggle. I went back to that bar every day for months looking for you. But you never showed up. The barman said the day you and I met was the first time he saw you there. I was hoping you were going to come by, but you didn't. I'm so glad that I kept my baby. She makes me really happy. Sometimes when I look at her, I have heart aches because she looks exactly like you and she reminds me of you and your thoughts just keep crossing my mind and I keep hoping that am I ever going to find you? Am I ever going to see you? But I search for you everywhere. At the airport, at the church, different bars. Anywhere that there's a crowd, I just kept looking out for you. I had different men coming to ask for my hand in marriage. But I always turned them down because somewhere in my heart, I thought I was going to find you. And I thought you, I and Jenny will become a family someday. I'm sorry, but I don't know why I thought about that, but yeah. So, yeah. But why didn't you do what you just did? A while ago. Actually, just yesterday, Jenny was watching this film on TV and this little girl was all over her daddy. And the next thing, my daughter goes, Mommy, where is my daddy? And, well, I try to, you know, lie like I always do. And she still didn't believe me. She kept throwing tantrums. Where is my daddy? I want my daddy. Blah, blah, blah. Daddy, I was confused. I had to call my friend Pat. 
she's very close to her so i thought her presence would make a difference but nothing jenny kept going on and on about wanting her daddy so Pat just came up with this story and said oh your daddy traveled abroad and he'll be back soon and you'll see him soon she lied to her uh, well she, she didn't know what else to do i mean a little white lie wouldn't hurt anybody right <laughs> we told her that and she calmed down for a bit and then we started to bring, brainstorm on what to do and we came up with the idea so how did you see the video well someone told me about uh, this trending news online and I asked to see it. Apparently, I was the guy that they were looking for. So I rushed out to you. Thanks for calling. No. Yeah. Thanks for not aborting my baby girl. <laughs> She's such an angel. Oh, that's exactly what she wants you to call her. Really? Yes, because she says her friend in school, her father calls her angel. And so she wants her father to also call her angel. Like, can you imagine? I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Basically, that's my story. Yeah. Food is ready. Oh. Okay. How long has she been like this? About 10 minutes. Sorry about that. Let me carry his. Don't worry, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Which way? This way. Okay. Okay, so sit down and then I would um I wouldn't mind tutoring her, you know. Oh. I do not want her to be an artist. Why? How many women do you see thrive in that career? A lot. They're really? not only artists, they're sculptors and they make a whole lot of money. Well, let's wait for her to get of age and then she'll make the decision herself. I'll be needing your picture and hers as well, for sure. I'll send you her pictures, but what do you need my pictures for? Same reason. Uh, who are you going to tell them that I am? A baby mama, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you play too much. Okay, let me just dish your food. No, I have to leave now. Okay. Oh no, come on, you've been here almost all day. You should be hungry. Uh, I'll eat at home, I'll be fine. Oh, come on, just eat something. Okay. Please. Okay. Okay, great. I will just dish the food. I'll be right back. All right. Just freshen up, and I think I've, I've got everything I need. Are you sure? Would you want anything? Uh, well, I've got everything I need here, yeah. but that's a very dangerous question to ask. Anything? <laughs> I need anything. Not to you. Okay. So I'll see you in the morning. Rest well. All right. Okay. Bye. 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 How can I be able to sleep with him so close? With all the memories that we shared. Oh, Missy, please just get out of my head already so I can sleep. He's so ruggedly handsome and will make a great dad for our daughter. They hit it off immediately. Oh my goodness, that was so sweet. Is he as troubled and restless as I am right now? Or is he sleeping soundly? Should I check on him? Mm -mm, no. No. Yes.
Hey, my angel, good morning. Hi. I hope you slept well, my angel. Yes, Daddy. Good. Mommy, please, can I take a ride in Daddy's car? Please. Please. <laughs> sure. Yay. Let's go. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Got everything you need? Huh? All right. So, um. Daddy, yes, when darling. are you coming to live with us? Uh, we'll sort that out, my angel, okay? We'll okay. sort it out. Bye, mommy. Bye, daddy. Love you. Love you too, baby. Love Bye. You. Bye. <laughs> so sorry about the embarrassing question. It's okay. It's all right. See ya. So, when are you coming to live with us? <laughs> <laughs> when you pay my groom price. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you. Who is it? Hold on. Hey, my guy. How <laughs> fun? Yeah, very well. Oh, You're welcome. Please sit. Yeah. What should I offer you? Anything to drink? Anything you've got, my man. Come, just a minute. All right. Mm -hmm. He did punish me. Mm -hmm. He did a lot of. Mm. Great, Great pleasurable things to my body. <laughs> How can I envy you? I think that is enough. I'm not gonna want to get drunk right now. Cheers, bro. Ah. So, um, you know now. Tell me, how did it go? I have a daughter. A daughter with her. And she's seven years old. The trace between you and her eight years ago produced the daughter. I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, I wonder why did she wait so long to tell you about this? Actually, she's been on the search. It's just of recent she had to go online to search for me. Ah, look at you with that after morning glow. <laughs> <laughs> really? <gasps> okay, but what does he do? He's an artist. Oh, yeah, he says it runs in the family. Okay, now I see where Jenny gets it. Ah, ah. Girl, this one, you just hit the jackpot with this one. As a matter of fact, it happened because our daughter was watching the TV and saw someone of her age uh, with, with her father. And then well, she asked her that, where's her own father? <laughs> so <laughs> they had to go look for me. <laughs> Because you should buy the, the producer of that movie, some bottles. Oh, yeah, I should. But I forgot to ask for the title of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but the question is, did you ask him if he was married or not? Oh, no, he's not married, but he's in a relationship. And they've been together for two years. Oh, two years. Well, if they've been together for two years, why didn't he get married to her? Are they engaged at least? Oh, well, I, I didn't ask. So, um, are you going to tell um, V now about them? Well, I have to. I mean, I've been with her for like two years now and she's been a very, very nice girl to me. Yeah, she has. But don't forget, Vivian has also waited for you for six, for eight years, rather. Well, she has a daughter too. She has a daughter and that gives her an edge. Mm-hmm. 
And I'm sure she has what you seek. Of course. But my love, what do you want? No, well, what I wanted was for him to meet our daughter. You know, just let her be happy. And that has happened. And I feel very happy myself. Uh, okay. I know you're going to look for a way to dodge this question, but you will not dodge it. I asked, what do you want? Does he have all the qualities you're looking for in a man? Does it check all the boxes? Yes, he does. But it doesn't matter what I want. <sighs> well, if he has all the qualities that you're looking for, why don't you just go with him? Go be with him. Very much. Now you caught between two beautiful women. Trust me, my brother. I don't envy you. I don't envy myself too, you know. Can you imagine? It's not so easy to snatch somebody's boyfriend. Ah. Yes, I don't know how to do you it. You don't know how to do it, but you know how to sleep with another person's boyfriend. Well, my bad. I made a mistake. Yeah, yeah but I'll do it again anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, look. You needed to see the way that he and Jenny hated her the moment they met. I really loved it. Jenny's happy and that's all that matters. True. But at the end of the day, you still have to think about yourself as well. The Vivian that I know will never sleep with a man that she's not into. A man that she doesn't have feelings for or in a relationship with. Okay? For you to be with this man, it's because he's special. So stick with him. Girl, it took you six years. Six long years for you to get back with this person, for you to even see him again. You don't want to lose him, do you? Make sure that you use everything at your disposal. Use your body, all the pleasurable, sweet, great things he was doing to you. Put it to use. Use Jenny if you have to. But you cannot lose him. I know, right? Like it's happening again. Girl, you're, you're pregnant again. Yeah. Ha. Well, all I know is that you're not going to touch this one. Hmm? I will save this baby just like I saved Jenny. I... I don't want him to feel in any way that I'm, I'm trying to use this to trap him. Mm. Because of the way I came onto him, I don't want him to feel like I'm desperate. Mm. So, so the thing is, I want him, but not like this. Baby girl, at this point, he should think whatever he likes. He can think whatever he wants to think. When he was busy ravishing your body, punishing you, making you his slave, doing whatever he likes to you without protection, he did not know. Hmm? He did not know that all that ravishing can put a seed in a woman. I'm trying so hard not to laugh. This is not funny. It's a serious matter. Okay. Auntie, I'm serious. Look at my face. I am not laughing. Eh? <laughs> but seriously, though, this is what he will think. Yo, he will be crazy not to choose you. Well, at this point, I think he has chosen her already because he has not been communicating with us the way he used to. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't take calls. He's been really quiet. <laughs> okay, let me see him come and choose her over you now. Let him try it and we'll make sure that he will never set his eyes on you, on Jenny or the baby whenever the baby comes. Is that possible? Yes! Because it's very possible. Let him try it, and I will come for him. I will be fighting with everything that I have. Let me just tell him about the situation and beg. Tell him now. Tell him and get back to me. But seriously, thank you, doll. You're so kind, the way you care for us. Thank you. <laughs> Is it? What happened? What? What's the problem? Is she okay? What is it? She's fine. She's asleep. Oh, thank God. But then your voice on phone. What happened? Oh, so you can actually get here very quickly. And you've been dodging my calls for a couple of days and, and limiting the way that you talk to me. In fact, you, you didn't even allow us to come visit you. But you know I've been very busy. Busy with your girlfriend, right? Too busy with her that you forgot about your daughter. Don't just stop it. Just stop it. These times are really hard for me. Look, we were about to have our introduction when I learned of you too. 
This is not a nice time for me. Well, I'm about to compound your wounds. What do you mean by that? I'm pregnant. Daddy. Again. Yes, my angel. How are you? Pregnant. Mommy, I'm pregnant. We're going to have a baby. We're going to have a baby. Yay! We're about to have another baby. That's uh, awesome. What? <sighs> You're kidding me, right? I wish I was. <laughs> Amazing. One touch. That's your new name. Oh, Sharpshooter. Get out of here. <laughs> you know right now, as it is, she has made a decision for you, right? I know, right? I mean, That's what it is. One doesn't have a child, and one has a child, and there's another one on the way. But well, you love her, don't you? Not so sure. What? What do you mean by you're not so sure? Oh, it's because, I mean, how do I tell her? How do I, how, how do I tell her? Eh? How do I tell the woman that I love that there's another woman who has a child for me, and there's another child on the way by the same woman? Maisie. It may be difficult, but you will have to tell her. She deserves to know. And like I told you the other time, I don't envy you at all. Hi. Hi. Oi. Is it? Make a camera. All right, now. We'll see. Let's see. <sighs> Hi. Hi. I've been calling your phone. You're not taking my calls. What happened? Babe, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. There's something I want to tell you. Okay, I'm all ears. Babe, what's the problem? You're scaring me. What is it? You remember the other day you told me of someone who was looking for a guy? Yes. What about it? It's me. <laughs> it's you. How? I'm the guy they're looking for. What? <laughs> so you went to see her? And? She has a daughter for me. She's seven. A daughter for you? <laughs> okay. Well, it has happened. I can live with that. that that's not all. Eh? That's not all. She's, um, she's pregnant for me. Pregnant for you? No, no. This is too much. This is too much for me. Baby, I'm sorry. I don't understand. How did she get pregnant? You went to see her. You slept with her without protection. Are you out of your mind? Baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. What do you want me to do now? No, what do you want me to do? Like, I invested two years of my life in this relationship and what I get is a daughter and another child on the way. What do you want me to do? No, 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 don't tell me you're sorry. Okay. How, how do you know she's yours? Did you run any DNA test or something? No. What if she's not yours? Like, what if? Oh, just what if? Oh. Maisie, what if she is right? What if she's wrong? What if? Are you saying that she probably went through all of this to find me just to enforce another man's child on me? 
Anyway, the only way to find out is to have that test done. I don't want to put through. I, I don't want to put this woman through all the stress. I can't. I don't see any stress here. The test has to be done, Missy. Yeah. Do it. It is important. Do it. That is the only way you can find out. Think about it. <laughs> you can't be serious. But I am. Also, why didn't you say this before? Why is this just coming up? It doesn't make any difference if I said it before now. Who talked you into this? <laughs> Nobody. Oh, so okay? you... <laughs> Can't I decide to do this myself? So you think I will wait eight good years? I will go through the humiliation I went through. I will put my life on the internet looking for you just because I want to pin another man's child on you? You know what? She's not yours. Even the one I'm carrying is not yours. Leave. Just stop this drama, okay? Just tell me how much it's going to take to get this done and over. Get out of my house before I call the police on you for intrusion. Leave! Me? Yes. Intrusion. Get out! No problem. Fine. Get out! They are not yours, okay? You, you haven't heard of They are not yours. Just leave. What nonsense. I really don't blame him. I was the one who went looking for him, so it's not his fault. I love no. You did nothing wrong. You know, just when I thought the, the search and wait was not in vain. It's not in vain, okay? At least now Jenny knows her father. She knows who her father is. I'll take the test. What? You will do what? My love, nobody can compare you to do what you don't want to do. If you don't want to do it, then don't do it. I know, but I'll do it. Why? Because I want to prove to him that she's his. And when that happens, I will make sure he never sets eyes on Jenny or my unborn baby until they're of age. And I will fight him with everything I have. Hello? I'll do the test. Just let me know the time and the place for it. Wait and listen to what we have to say. I do not want to listen to anything you want to say. Are you satisfied now? Are you satisfied now? No, answer me. After putting my daughter and I through what you put us through, stay away from us. You do not deserve us. I will find a good man who will become my husband and become a good father to my children. Well, they are my children too. I have a right to know where they are. Really? Yes. No problem. I will let you know when it is right to see Jenny. And when I have my unborn child, I will let you know too. Now, if you think you want to go to the court to battle this, great. By all means, be my guest. But I want you to know that it is going to be a very, very grueling battle. Now get out. She's not playing. Now get out. Leave. All right, fine. Bye. Whoever talked him into doing that did him a great disservice. Big one. Big fat one. <laughs> but maybe it's that fine honk that came in with him. Really? What's your... You're irredeemable. What is wrong with you? You were looking at his friend all along. 
Is that a crime? It's not a crime. Kill that guy is good looking. He's a fine man. <laughs> Look, I can't with you. Anyway, do you think Maisie will go to court? Because I, I don't want Jenny to go through any long, protracted legal battle that this might lead to. Uh, well, I don't think so. I don't think he will do that. He's not stupid. Hmm? This is my take. I think he will go for an out-of-court settlement. The guy I saw, he knows that he messed up. So he's definitely going to come back asking for forgiveness and understanding. The question is, what would you do when that happens? Well, let's see how that goes. Mm. But girlfriend, this amazing guy, it's fine, no? Mm? It's not going to do with anything. <sighs> I'm saying that he will charm his way back into your fragile heart. Girl, I think you should give him a second chance. Well, he's not going to get me back so easily. Ooh. There's going to be a big fight. Ooh, okay. Someone is about to make him sweat. Make him water. I am here. Look, I swear I can't reach you, Pat. Just, just stop. What is wrong with you? We're not done with Mrs. mess up and you're talking his friend? What is wrong with that now? has asked me to stay away from her daughter. Sorry. For the past two years, all I've done is love you. Total dedication and faithfulness. I know. And I've given you the same. And then her. The funniest part is, I was even the one that led you to them. Wow. I know this is going to affect me very bad, but... If you did not lead me to them, I wouldn't have known I have a daughter. Which you have the right to know. Yeah, but knowing now has really put you in a bad state. Don't worry. I forgive you. And I've made peace with myself. Oh my God. Come on. Now, we need to do the right thing. And what's the right thing? You have a beautiful daughter and another child on the way. Go with them. That's the right thing to do. You're a good man. And I will always love you. Get my number and, and what do you want? Okay. If you claim you love him so much and you can't live without him, why why do you want to give him up for me?
Hello, girl. You wouldn't believe who just called me. Mrs. Fiancé. She, she was calling to, she was calling to say that she loved Maisie so much, but because of our situation, she's 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 giving him up for me. Yeah, she says she wants him to to to, to, to have his kids in his life, for the kids to grow up with him. Yeah, girl, I'm on my way to your place. <laughs> I'm coming, don't worry, we'll just talk about it. I'm coming. Okay, I'll see you soon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Baby girl, now that the coast is clear, please tell me you are about to run 440 to go get your man. You need to claim him now. No, I wasn't going to call me. You're waiting for him to do what? Baby girl, call him yourself. Come on, Pat, I don't want to look as if I'm desperate. Uh. Fine girl, please take this phone and call your man. There's nothing desperate about it. Hmm? Call him. Are you sure? Girl, I am sure with my full chest. Call him. He's calling me. You see? Fit. Destiny. Peak. Hi. Oh, we're doing well. And you? Um... How soon can you get to my place? Tell him to come with his friend. Tell him to come with his friend now. Please, can you come with your friend? Just come with him. Okay. Okay, see you soon then. Bye. What's that? Tell him to come with his friend. What's that? What? Oh, so this is the reason why you've been pestering me to call him. I remember when you first met his friend, you were all over the place, you were acting. You even asked me, ah, is he so handsome? Is he married? Uh, really? Peggy. And so what? Eh? Is it a crime for a beautiful girl like me to want an equally handsome man to herself? <laughs> Baby girl, please tell me, if Mezier was ugly, would you have gone for him? Eh? Is the handsomeness and the glory of God shining through Mezi? That is why if you touch you here like this, pregnancy has entered. It touch you here. You positive. Yes. It touch you here. Positive. Stop. Stop. Positive. What? positive. What's your problem? One one touch. <laughs> <laughs> This is over and they are finally back together. Me too. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You know, I cannot wait for them to announce their wedding so that I can officially resume my chief vice mate duties. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the way those two are going. I don't think I don't think it's gonna take long for that to happen. Mm? And your friend, she knows how to pretend. 
See the way she grabbed my guy's mouth. How? How about? You know, I like the sound of your laughter. <laughs> really? Mm hmm It does something to my heart. Okay. Let me understand this. The sound of my laughter does something to your heart. How? Huh? It actually makes my heart smile, you know. <laughs> Are you a poet? Because that is so sweet. <laughs> well, mm. you know you're so beautiful. Yeah, you are so beautiful. With these sleeves of yours. Would you allow me a kiss? <coughs> I've been suspecting this, my guy. Each time I'm telling him I want to come to your place, he would always ask me, is Pat there? Is Pat coming? If not, he's not going to come. Look at it. Just look at it. Hmm. You know, just yesterday when we were coming back from the hospital, she was asking after him. And earlier, when I asked that you should come with your friend, uh -huh. it's because she said I should tell you to come with your friend. I knew it! <laughs> I just knew it! I've been suspecting them. <laughs> No, I have fancied him from the first day that I set my eyes on him. Oh, see, He's it's my obvious. kind. Oh, okay. Don't bring you my know, friends out. Mm -hmm. I won't. And you know what the feeling is saying? From the first day I saw you, I got blown away. Well, do not hurt my friend. Mm -hmm. I never will. What is that I will. Let's go in and eat. Oh, oh yes, starving. I am starving. Trust me. I'm starving. So, guys, let's toast to love. And, Missy, yes, I got this. Oh, okay. you do? Okay, 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 okay. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what we have today as a love gathering mm -hmm. all started with this beautiful lady mm -hmm. going out to drink and somehow got drunk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then met this handsome dude, <laughs> one thing led to another, and here we have this damn Sarah. Aww. It's them beautiful baby. And then somehow they both got separated for eight years. Hmm. Eight good years. But here we are, together again, toasting to love. But well, meanwhile, we're going to get drunk tonight. Yes, okay. yes, we're going to yeah. get drunk tonight. Yeah. It has started by getting drunk and we're going to get drunk tonight. Mm -hmm. okay. And then after being drunk, mm -hmm. you know what? We're going to go home, you and I. Ah. And then, you know what's up? One touch is going to happen. No, please, please. The one touch. <laughs> one magical touch. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. Cheers. Cheers to love, guys. Cheers to love. Cheers to love. Cheers, baby. Cheers, cheers, cheers.